As Dr. Saki gave the explanation just now, it's totally agreeable and I accept it because I'm not a Christian and I'm a person who thinks God is, should be there. As a cell phone is here, there must be someone created it. Otherwise, it's not existence in this world. Similarly, I believe in God, but I don't have a religion. And as Dr. Saki said, any other religion or worshipping other than Muslim is a sin. But how will you convince this little man over here that this only religion is only Islam and nothing else? But maybe the people, other religion things, or maybe you people are doing the sin. Because you are telling, we are sinning. And you know, these things keeps on happening between religion and religion. The brother asked a very good question. He gave a Christian name, if I heard it correctly, but said he's not a Christian. He says he believes in God. If there's a cell phone, it has a creator, so that way he believes in God. Very good, Alhamdulillah, congratulations. But he says that, how can you prove to me that I should only follow Islam? That's a very good question. Brother, Islam is an Arabic word, you may not know the meaning. So forget Arabic, leave it aside. What you should follow is? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is Islam, which is peace acquired by submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you believe in God, that He is there, you don't believe in religion, what is the definition of religion? Religion means believing in God. So if you believe in God and say don't believe in religion, you're contradicting. By definition of Oxford Dictionary, religion means believing in a supernatural being or God that deserves obedience. So if you believe there is God, you also have to obey Him, right or wrong? And that's a different thing. You may not know which book is God's book. You understand? So if you believe in God, do you want to obey this Creator or not? Yes or no? Yeah, but first Finish. you have to be convincing, right? That's right. I agree with you. I'm not telling you, but you have to obey the Creator. Now, what the Creator has said, you have to find out. Correct? So now the brother agrees that there is a Creator, he believes in God, and he agrees that he should obey that Creator. The so same thing God is telling. The only way of life acceptable is submitting your will to God. That's it. Now, what is submitting? That's a different question. Correct? Forget the word Muslim. Forget the word Islam. Muslim means one who submits his will to Almighty God. If you submit your will to God, in Arabic, you call Muslim. Just by telling your name is Zakir or Abdullah or Sultan, you don't become Muslim. If I say my name is Zakir, I don't become a Muslim. If someone says his name is Muhammad, doesn't become a Muslim. Muslim by definition means a person who acquires peace, one who submits his will to Almighty God. Now you want to know that how will you say that this is the right will of God, correct? For that, you have to refer to my video cassette, Is the Quran God's Word? which is proved scientifically that this is the word of God which you and I believe in. You and I believe in, this is the same word of God. For that, refer to my video cassette, it is approximately four hours. I don't intend giving a lecture and a question asking four hours here. And tomorrow you can come for my talk, Sharia. Sharia means the law of Allah, law of Islam. Barbaric or perfect? If you hear that talk, it will partly convince you. For complete answer, Refer to my video cassette, is the Quran God's word. And inshallah, inshallah, you'll be convinced that this is the only way which is right. Names, don't go on Arabic names. Don't look at people, what people who don't follow them. Don't judge Islam by what the followers are doing. If you want to judge how good a car is, if a driver does not know how to drive the car and he bangs up the car, who will you blame, the driver or the car? Driver. So don't judge Islam by looking at the Muslims. Judge Islam by the authentic source of the Quran. And if you judge according to this, if you want to judge the car, you go at the catalog, what is the speed of that Mercedes car, what is the safety measures, what is the average, etc., etc. Or you judge by putting a driver behind the seat who's an expert driver. So if you want to observe a human being, to know Islam is, the best example is the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.